There it is. Blinding jab right there to set this right hand. You see Rice. Rice was throwing his right hand, kept his head on the line, but Ajaba, he threw his right hand and got his head off the line. Here it is again. Beautiful sequence right there from Ajagba. You know, he, he hit him actually when he was coming in. You know, he hurt him. He hurt him pretty badly there, you know. But everything is off the jab. That's what I like. Deadly beats and killer him softly. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Ninja Boxing. And like I always say, please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all oh, Sunday Open New Banger, a new exclusive video you'll definitely be notified. To my Ninja brothers and sisters worldwide, now God I take big one. Make a like the video, share, subscribe. Sharing is caring. The more you share this content, the more we're going to bring you more bangers. Like you know, say BBC and the home of Ninja Box now, where we for the given our waiting day to tell that run the new Ogbongi Tori for town. So I beg, make gonna support the channel. Support, 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 support. Support your fellow Niger Niger Nigerian. Like it, subscribe. Click the notification bell icon so that anytime I drop banger like that, I'm go see him. Now we'll be the first to receive one. So let us get straight to it. F.A. Jagba, aka the one and only, and also the Nigerian Nightmare, the Machine, the Ugly Monster. He has a lot of nicknames now that I've given him. Some people, some people call him modern names right now. But let's get to it. Um, Of course, one defeated um, Jonathan Rice, okay, via unanimous decision, in a very interesting, exciting, and connective about like i said before i did my reaction i had some things to say you know because ajakba for me um did all he could all all he could to win but at the same time kind of disappointed a lot of people some people expect him to knock um uh, you know rice house including myself okay I wasn't expecting Ajaba to go. I was I was I wasn't expecting to see Ajaba go the distance with Jonathan Rice. Okay. But I know Ajaba did his best after what I just heard that he fought with an injured elbow. Okay. So I also heard that I was told that he spot something like a day before um clash with uh jonathan rice but the main key the main topic the main subject is that he fought with a an injured elbow and still beat jonathan rice that's why it kind of looks sloppy that's why he couldn't use the he threw the jab as much as he as he wanted to and that could be the reason uh what's the take on this uh, job boy Well, my take on this is, um, you know, I don't know where this is coming from. If it's a Jaguar, fans, I, I would advise you not to make any excuses. No, 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 not Jaguar fans. It's coming from you know, a very good. I, it's coming. It's coming from a very good source. You know, a very good source. So no, no, this this guy's not a Jaguar. I think he's a Nigerian, uh, uh a Nigerian what? boxing analyst or some sport analyst or something like that. I don't think you would lie about it. Well, it, it, it doesn't even matter. But I, I'll tell you something right now. <laughs> I've been I, I've been paying attention to this sport for long. This is not going to be a job was last time to look back. You, you don't want to keep making excuses for him every time he looks back. Just, just keep it under wraps. Just don't make any excuses when the fighter gets injured. Ah, uh, Jabba did not say this, brother. So you have to understand yeah, that I got the, I got I I got the news. Ajaba did not say that. Ajaba reacted to this on his Instagram where he said, listen, he knows it didn't look good. 
but it's gonna it's keep, he wants to keep improving and all that but you cannot yeah, you know, know like said, cover 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 the truth you know what i mean sometimes yeah. Continue. Yeah, that's why I said a jog or not. You don't wanna you don't wanna like I wouldn't I I wouldn't wanna come out and say like my favorite fighter, like oh he's hurt. Like I, every single time he looks bad, they're gonna look at look at Wilder right now. people are going in on him continuously. Every single time he looks bad in the fight, he's making up excuses. You know? After one after another, oh I got the the, the Ortiz fights, uh I was sick, I I had a flu, I had a ten degree fever. The second fight, oh, I, I I was injured coming into that fight. The Tyson Fury fight, oh, my, I I hurt my hand. I, don't like, just you you don't want to be that guy that people are gonna be like. Oh, so you're always injured coming into a fight. Oh, the oh the, while there's, he's always injured coming. Don't 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 be that guy, man. Don't he looked he 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 th there was some good takeaways then there was some bad takeaways he looked good at the same time he looked bad that's it you know a job is gonna improve just give him the opportunity to improve don't make excuses for him you know a fight a fighter is eventually gonna pick up an excuse and he's gonna start using it you don't want we don't want we as a fan of him we don't want him to to fall into that category give him the opportunity to improve continue to praise the man that's all. Well, Ajaba has never made any excuse before, especially when it comes to being injured and, and all that. But you have to say the truth. He was injured. Okay. If you if you you can tell, I, I I saw a clip today. You know that but that I, I that I didn't really focus on why watching the the bout because it's one thing watching about. You know when you watch about, you just want to see your your favorite your favorite guy win. Okay. I saw when he, I think it was around the second round or so, when he hit um, uh, Jonathan Rice, and Jonathan Rice wobbled, but he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't continue the, the you know, the the pressure. If he had continued that pressure, he would have gotten him out of there. But I noticed that he couldn't do that because probably the elbow was kind of affecting him in a way, and he just wanted to be relaxed. And this was just like a sparring session. I mean, for a jugba. And he got tired a lot of times, you know. Um, even he got tagged more than usual, even against Alera de Mirza, and it wasn't tagged like that. And both of them were going back and forth. I just but did not really implement, um, I mean, um, a, de a solid defense, you know, against J Jonathan Rice. But at the same time, that might be the reason why that did not happen. I don't think Ajabba is a guy that makes excuses. A guy that don't, he doesn't even talk about, you know, you know, he, he being injured. But people in the camp, people that people that knows him, you know, because he's not a he's not a guy that talks a lot. You know, what I mean, when it comes to making excuses, what excuse have you seen Ajabba make? Just tell me one. Excuses, you said it's coming from his camp. You might as well chalk it up as that. I told I, I bro, bro, it's coming from a sauce, a sauce like a sauce, a, 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 a sauce who is like investigating things and all that, asking questions. People ask questions, and then some people say it. But Ajak by himself has well, never made I'm any excuse, so that's why. That guy, so, because yeah, but uh, you 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 have to keep these kind of things. You have to keep them quiet. You know. Just just as while these people are coming out with these excuses, and I'm saying how come Wilder doesn't have control of his camp? He can't let these things out. You know, it it causes a problem with everybody. Like, oh, now you're having problems, this and that. Like, and you're fighting. Why why didn't you pull out of the fight? It, 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 people are gonna people. There's some people are gonna believe you, and then the, some people are gonna call you uh, the the wolf in, in sheep's clothing. Whoever the source is, keep keep the lid tight on that man. Don't let don't don't let it go. It's just simple. Well, Nigerians, Nigerian journalists don't don't actually keep things tight. You have to understand that. We they spit it out, and it's nice sometimes. But at the same time, I, like I, I know I just not is not gonna make excuses, especially when it comes to uh, fighting and all that. And when it doesn't look good, because in his official statement, he said, "Listen." I'm improving, so I'll be back soon. Is what it is. Stay blessed, young guys. You know this was a very good, uh, I mean, session though. And uh, like the video, share, subscribe. 
How do you guys feel? Did you guys notice Ajagba injury, Ajagba's injury during the bout? Or not? For those of you guys that watched it, or like, are you um, in support of what Tajagba has stated, saying, listen, this sort of story should just be squashed and kept swept swept under the rock. So, go follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center. Now, God, I take Beguna. Make you follow me. Now, only we they give you now Ogbonge to read about Ninja for others and all those things. What do they do here? No other boxing channel they do. Huh? But I want to see more boxing channel for Nigeria, from Nigeria. You know, but they don't mean they don't even like I don't even know how many will be safe. You have a day, a day to a boxing talk with a day, but then I like they cover you know UK's to the and America to the like that. Don't be about Nigeria or African stuff like that once in a while. So bless now, let me want to do and I want I want more for now. You understand? So if 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 you if any of you get channel, we'll be saying I want promote no the day into this boxing stuff, let me know a few people now promote them. That's so thanks to you all. I appreciate you guys. I love you all and God bless you all. Cheers guys.